Shalom, Ahab, Wa, Barak. First and foremost, Kahalala Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakwa Kadash. Here we go again, Israel. I got to show you guys this. I prophesied to this, see this guy right here in the, um, in the very first video in the top left corner, 101113 cops show up at camp. Well, what you guys don't know, well, I mean, if you watch the class, you do, but if, if you didn't watch the class, I told that guy, because some white dude walked past and he just started talking shit to him for no reason, just because he was white. Not because the spirit beareth witness with our spirit that we're the children of Yahweh by Hashem Shai, Romans 8 and 16. He just popped off the mouth. And I told him that that judge righteous judgment unless you know, lest ye be judged with the same judgment in which you judge with. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna play this video real quick. Alright, first I'm gonna show you this guy. I'm gonna show you what it looks like, so let's get that. And then um, I'm going to show you where he goes off. I'm going to show you where I tell him what the scriptures say. And I'm going to show you him getting put in jail. Waking up to the truth. And what you just said is, I'm from the Levi family. I'm from the Levi family. That's what you just I'm saying. You said that. So I'm going to let the guy see you. I have a whole camp of So the guy on the ground is from the Levi family. Let me see if I can. So he's saying he's, he's Levite, which the Levites are the priests. Yes, sir, I am a priest. So, I know, I'm, I'm sober. I don't do drugs. I pretend. So he's actually having a beer, right? So there's no, the actually, Levite. Yes, I am. I'm not so right. what the problem is is we err not knowing the scriptures. You're right. And we have a zeal, but not according to the I talked truth. to Enoch yesterday. The two yes. disciples in the book of Revelation, he told me not to be here. Well, maybe you're getting him. Okay, we've seen enough of that. Now watch him go off. All right, here's where he's going to go off. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read a few scriptures, but I want you to listen very carefully what he says to this white guy. Just because his skin is white. Now, this is what's going to get a lot of you guys um, stuck in the cracks. Did you hear that? This is the Motherfuck you! Hey, sorry about that. Heaven is rulership. Is hell that? is servitude. Correct. So when he says that he's in hell right now, this is the physical hell. Oh, she could have just been smacked by that car. Correct. When you go to the kingdom, you're at peace and at rest, and you're uh, you go to Yahweh by Shem Shai for judgment. Yahweh. 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 He Yahweh. is. Yahweh has no meaning. It's a made up word. He said Yahweh. Yah. It says, judge not by thy appearance, judge not according to the appearance, but judge by his judgment, unless ye be judged with the judgment in which you judge with. Thank so you might just get judgment on who you are just for doing that to somebody who you don't know who they are. Right. So it's better to be meek, it's better to be quiet, it's better to say less words and learn instead of speak. So I'm going to go back to this class and I'm going to show you a few things because these things are actually getting ready to happen. And in some places, they're already happening. Give me verse 5 again. So... You saw it with your own eyes, guys. You heard him. You heard him. He judged somebody without knowing who they are. This is going to happen to a lot of you. A lot of you are going to receive this judgment. So let me go ahead and show you the latter end. I just told him maybe he's going to get judged. Maybe you will be judged for judging. Let's find out. We're going to start right here. Watch this. It's Jesus Christ. He's listening, but you know, he's, I think the words got a little, got a little excited. But he's not very good. I, I so got far. a t-shirt. Did you? Yeah, he told me to trust you. Remember? All right. Hey, that would have been Just watch. Watch. He's going to jail right now. That's fine, man. That would have been disturbing their uh All right, so I'm gonna be quiet, sit down, all the jumping around. I think I gotta talk to him over here. Alright, great. Okay. Let's cool. just talk over here, brother. That way we're not disturbing no. them. Let me talk to my lawyer. Okay. All I right. just want to make sure you're okay, man. Yeah, he, he, Go back to verse 12. 
Is that no? No one takes care of me more than Jesus Christ. You want to keep right. me? Verse 12. Isaiah 47, verse 12. Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. So ever since you were born, you were being taught something different. You were being taught to celebrate your birthday, celebrate Easter, celebrate Christmas, celebrate Halloween. Amen. Watch. Listen carefully. This guy's over here sitting next to me now crying that he doesn't want to go to jail. He just called out some person just for being white. Fuck you, you piece of shit, motherfucker. The skin color of this person shouldn't determine whether they're a piece of shit or not. That's what this whole class is about right now. This shit pissed me off because there's people that are righteous in the truth like one standing next to me. His fucking skin is white, and his dad and his grandfather are black. So this dude deserves what he gets. In my book, he deserves what he gets. Because he's just going to go out of pocket. And you see how he was... If you saw how he was acting, I didn't put the camera on him because it's about the class. It's not about him. It's about the class. If I would have showed you what he was doing the whole time, you would, you would understand why he got arrested. But um, anyways, let's get back to it and watch him get arrested. I can show you every scripture that says against that. That's why in the Christian church, they're not going to teach you. They're going to have a Christmas program, an Easter program, a Halloween program. And that's the only reason why is because they have a 501c3. So the government actually controls your uh, religious leader. Amen. Now, if you're on the corners, we're not controlled by the religious leaders. We're allowed to say the truth. We're not up here for a tax break. I don't so, um... Maybe that. Let me, um... Shit. Start where you left off, and if so, be thou shalt be. Isaiah 47, verse 13. No, pick up where you left off with it. Or just verse 12? Uh huh. Isaiah 47, 12. Where is he? He's going to pick up where he left off. Go ahead. If so be thou shalt be able to profit, if so be thou mayest prevail. If, if, maybe. But wait, there's more. Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. One more. Behold, they shall be as stubble. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal to warm at, nor fire to sit before. And stop right there. So, give me, um, first of all, give me Jeremiah. Uh, 10 and 1. Jeremiah 10 and 1. Okay, so teacher. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Verse 2. Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. So right there. So they got prognosticator, they got astrologers, they got stargazers. They're not as good, huh? Yes, he so, is. Hey, um, why don't you come here? He's putting on gloves. He's ready to take me to jail. So, oh, I know God is good. He's putting on gloves. He's ready to take me to jail. Well, I wanna, um, I'm waiting until this is over. I'm going to skip it to the end. I'm going to let you hear what this guy that he's trying to talk to says. And then I'm going to skip it to the end real quick because I wasn't trying for this to be a long message. But I, I do want to bring out a scripture at the end, and I'm just holding this scripture waiting. So let me go ahead and show you what this guy said. He said some funny stuff, though. All right, let me get it. Watch this. Of heaven. So right there. So they got prognosticator. They got astrologer. Listen to the guy. Listen to the guys. God is good, huh? Yes, he so, is. Mama, hey, yeah. hey, why don't you come here? He's putting on gloves. He's ready to take me to jail. Oh, so, oh, I know God is good. That's what he's here, but... He said, he said, you know God is good. That's the reason you're here, buddy. And then he walked off. You talk about the angels unawares. And the guy was like, oh. Let's keep going. Uh, I thought, God, he's basically uh, shit. Putting on gloves, he's ready to take me to jail. Uh, so, so, I know God is good. That's what he's here, buddy. Uh, I, uh, I forgot he's basically uh, shit. Uh, they, they we are read it again. A lot of distractions out here today. Yes, sir. 
Alright, let's 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 skip to the end real quick. Oh, we were at the end, I guess. Not the way of the heathen. Look, be not there's the top the right there. On. The They're heathen, taking them in. Them. So, like I said, they they have their astrologers, their stargazers, their monthly prognosticators. Those are the people writing your fortune. And and um, the reason why they're mad at the signs of the season because they study, they do a deep search, they search out iniquity. They do a diligent search. They know what's going on. So, um, they, um, they, um, they hate it. They hate this lifestyle. And you know what? If you watch, look around, I'll show you. How can you not? How can you say that this is heaven? How could this be heaven? All right. So, uh, like I said, they hate the size of the season. You can see what times we're in. You can see the times we're in. I mean, it's prevalent. <coughs> and let's just keep going. Let's move on. Let's jump over to, uh, let's read Isaiah 14, uh, 47 and 14 again. Isaiah 47 and 13. Behold, they shall be a stubble. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal to warm at, nor fire to set before it. Read um, Matthew 13 and 30. Let both grow together until the harvest. And in the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them. But gather the wheat into my barn. Right there. Right, right there. there. Okay, so I want to get these precepts now real quick. Let me let me get this just first of all. Let me get this. This is um because um I said two different verses and kind of put them together. So I want to get both of them correctly. This is why I don't paraphrase. But let me get on. This is John chapter 7 and 24. It says, Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. So, you guys gotta understand. This is, the, the, this, all this shit started going down. As soon as he talked shit to the so called white man, the cops showed up. Ten cops. Five, ten cops showed up. Ten, five ten cop cars showed up. I didn't put it all on the video. Why? I mean, I showed you guys a little bit at the end of the video. I'll I'll put it on here at the end. I'll put it on. But they all showed up just to arrest his ass. After he, he wasn't even, and that was after the guy left. Like ten minutes later, they were across the street when he started walking out in the middle of the street, taking off his clothes and throwing his shoes around. That's when he got incarcerated. So let me get um, one more scripture. All right, I read to you guys 7 and 24. That's what I read you, right? Yeah. No, no, no. I, uh, um, I, uh, I, I'm reading to you Matthew chapter 7, starting at verse 1. Judge not that ye be not judged, for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure you meet, it shall be measured and uh, measured to you again. So, this guy went out and he judged somebody um, unrighteously. And that got measured back to him again instantly. Now, I got one more precept that I wanted to bring out. And it's... Um, I think it's Deuteronomy 18. And, um, 22. I just want you guys to hear this. Oh, 
I want you to hear this. Because he said that he was a Levite. You don't call yourself a Levite and not get condemned by the Levitical law. So let me show you in Deuteronomy, which can, pertains to the Levitical law, chapter 18. And I'm going to... Start at verse 19. And it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my words, which he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. Clearly, listen to this clearly. But the prophet which shall presume to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or that shall speak in the name of of other gods even that prophet shall die why am I bringing this up oh I'm getting to the point and if thou say in thine heart thou shall we how shall we know the word which the Lord hath not spoken how shall we know the word which the Lord hath not spoken when a prophet speaketh in the name of Yahweh, if the thing follow it Follow not if it doesn't happen afterwards, nor come to pass. That is the thing which Yahweh hath not spoken. But the prophet hath spoken it presumptuously. Thou shalt not be afraid of him. You need to fear this prophet. I told that guy that he's going to get judged. I didn't know it was going to become an immediate judgment. Immediate judgment. As soon as I said it, the cops showed up. About ten minutes later. So I'm gonna skip right to the to to the part where the cops take him to jail. We can watch, and I can show you, and then we're gonna um, close out there. And I got one more verse that I'm holding right now to close out. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. And he's gonna drop that sickle down, and he's gonna remove the wheat from the tares. And this is what it's going to look like. We're going to remove the wheat from the tares. They're going to be doing this until Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai comes back to get us. It's not going to stop happening. It's only going to increase. Times are getting worse. Wars. Rumors of wars. Pestilence. Earthquakes in diverse places. Neighbor against neighbor. Kingdom against kingdom. Nation against nation. This is all happening right before your eyes and still nobody can see so you saw it with your own eyes he talked shit he got judged instantly after I told him you might just receive that same judgment in which you judge with he called him a piece of shit just for having white skin nah, that doesn't resonate with me I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you guys now I got one more verse and I'm gonna show you guys one last time that this guy got condemned due to his own actions. Due to his own actions. So let me go ahead and bring it out. We're going to go right to Revelation. I end this class every time the same way. I end it the same way every time because it pertains to everything that's going on. Revelation 22 and 12. And behold, I come quickly. My reward is with me to give every man according to his work shall be. What was his works? Fear this prophet. That's what you need to do. Because I'm sincere in this truth. And with that being said, if you got real eyes to see and real spiritual ears to hear the real truth, I hope you were able to get something out of this brief message. Shalom.